welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, actress Karina Nal has enjoyed numerous roles on local TV and soapies such as Generations and international movies such as The Queen of Katwe. But she is most known for her role as Dr. Alexa in Seven Delan. Now, if you have any questions for Karina, do connect with us online and remember to use the hashtag Afternoon Express in all of your comments. But first, let's have a look at some of Karina's work. Kevin, are you all right? Will be, eventually. What is it Got roughed up for no reason. What has your Sylvie Kani ons het mos hier oor gepraat? Daar is niks romanties tussen my en Kevin nie. Hoeveel keer moet ek dit sê? I heard you the first time. Oh, duidelik nie. Jy is gewoon onderstel om mense gezond te maak nie meer die vuist te takkel omdat jy jaloers is nie. Alexa, just listen. Ek stel nie belang in verskonings nie. Geep wat, ek sal hom verder behandel. Loop, voor ek een klacht in jou le. I'm shook. Welcome <laughs> back to The Loft. I mean, the last time we saw you was like three years ago. I know. And you came with your whole on-screen family. They were all here. <laughs> no, I love it, but I'm so glad that I've got you on my own because Yay. I want to pick your brain on a couple of things, girl. All right. I heard that you grew up not knowing whether you're going to be a doctor or an actress. Yeah. You have hit the jackpot because you're both. <laughs> you're both. I know, isn't and, that fab? <laughs> an actress playing a doctor, how's it like for you? No, it's awesome. Like, when I was in matric, I was like, I really want to become a doctor, but I really want to be an actress. Yeah. And now I have the opportunity to be both. I'm like, every day I'm like, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Although I don't know anything about the medical world. So, you know, people will come up to me and ask me like, can you help me with this? Can I've you got a rash here, yeah. can you? Um, no, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> but how is that for you? Like the education of it. I mean, you speaking on conditions, you diagnosing the jargon on its own must be a lot to take in. It's so hard, especially when you have these medical scenes and you mm. have to learn all those terminology, you know, about medical stuff. and. It takes me ages <laughs> just to get it into my head. And then, like, sometimes I, I tell the crew, like, let's just take it paragraph for paragraph. paragraph. Like, this is one of those scenes. Oh, like, wow. otherwise we're not going to get through it. <laughs> well, you make it seem so effortless. And it seems like it's so natural for you. And it just comes with such grace and such ease. And mm. I think that you nail every single character that you, that you come across. And how is it like a mental jump for you or shift for you, having to play a doctor? and then having to play this on Generations and having mm. to play this mm. in, on, on, a, on the big screen. Mm. Um, what kind of self-talk do you have to prepare yourself? Mm. Well, I think at Simadalon at the moment, actually, it's, it's very interesting for me as an individual because I actually play two characters. Yes, yeah. Amanda and Alexa. Uh, yes, so actually that is, that is quite a hard thing to do because these two characters are so different, oh which is extremely fun and you know not a lot of soapy actresses can say they can do two characters and you know because you at times you can get quite bored with playing mm. you know and I have two I can do but um, jumping between the two is quite hard especially if I have to record both of them on the one day, day on the same day because sometimes I do Alexa in the morning and then in the afternoon I'll do Amanda so you know Everything has to change, you know, hair, makeup, like... I'm sure you feel like you've got like a split personality I'm sometimes. <laughs> like, what's going I on? I get home and I'm like, who am I? <laughs> channel Karina, channel Karina, yes. channel Karina. <laughs> exactly, oh, wow. but it's, it's quite a big mental change you have to do. But um, I think you also get used to it mm. after a while. Yeah. Just getting into character and... Um, but also when you put on your, your wardrobe and everything, you, you know... You kind of take on that persona. Yes. I love that, I but love that. Awesome. So a little bit of girl chat to spill some tea, <laughs> some royal tea. I hear that you are a huge fan of the royal family. I'm such a huge fan. <laughs> like literally at night when me and my husband get into bed, I'm like on my phone, like checking what happened with the royal family like oh today. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like I'm on them. So I've got a little bit of a quiz for you. Oh no. Do you see who that is on the, yes. on the screen? Who is that? It's Prince George. Uh, well done. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't have known. But um, and are you clued up with each title, each person, where they fit in in the royal 
tree? What's yeah, I kind of family try tree? to, like, I try to keep up. But um, there's quite a lot of them at the moment. <laughs> I see this is a new little bumblebee. Who is this one? Uh, that is Prince Louis. Well, you're really good at this. I'm really into it. <laughs> you are really, really good at this. Yes. Okay, we've got one more for you. Okay. I, I think I know who that is. That is, he's not a prince. He's just Archie. That was a trick one because I wanted to find out if you would remember that they don't carry the same title. No, they don't. Beautiful. Okay, well, I guess the quiz is <laughs> over 100%. You win. Yay. You win the whole Friday. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I also want to pick your brain on traveling. I mean, yeah. you've set yourself quite a task of wanting to visit 50 different countries with your husband. Yes. Yeah. So I actually started still when I was in school. I was an exchange student to Belgium and like there's where my like it bit oh. me like I was like okay I'm into this thing <laughs> and then I started traveling with my sister actually mm. and I did quite a few trips with her and then when I met my husband we started traveling and so it's a huge thing like for us like yeah. our spare time is spent on um, on traveling on you planning. have like itchy feet you got the yes. travel bag a lot yes. of people say that there's a different connection and bond that you have with someone once you've traveled with them, one that you can never reverse from or take back. I, I think definitely, like, it's just such special memories you build, mm. you know, and that's something someone can never take from you, you know, Beautiful. because material things you can buy, but those special moments that you have with each other is really Memories amazing. don't live like people do. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> so we've asked you on our socials if you've got any questions for Karina. And we've got Temba here saying, I want to tell Karina that I love her so dearly. And I watch Seven Delon because of her. Oh, much love, Alexa. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, that's Isn't that so touching? Yeah, I mean, the fans are really, really amazing. Um, I mean, that's why we keep doing what we're yeah. doing. And without them you know there wouldn't be a show Absolutely. so yeah that's amazing thank you <laughs> love the love we also have another one here from uh, Masabata and says I cannot wait to see my favorite actress oh, so I guess Masabata you. is watching hey girl hey. <laughs> All this love just exuding and coming straight to you. I'm sure you're just soaking it all in, which you deserve yes. to. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's really awesome. <laughs>